how nations, people, families become great. Are you ready for number three? The third key that is responsible for building nations to greatness is called education. Write it down, please. Education. No nation can be great if it does not respect the power of education. Let me define for you what I call an educated person. Because there are many people who went to school but are not educated. When I talk about education, in addition to going to school, this is what an educated person means in my world. The ability to read, the ability to write, the ability to communicate effectively. Please underline that one. The ability to read, write, communicate effectively, think constructively, and then use the knowledge acquired as a tool to best solutions. This is an educated person. Let me take it again. That to be educated means you have the ability to read. I didn't say read English. The ability to write. I didn't say write English. The ability to communicate effectively. One of the major indices to measure an educated person is that you have trained your intellectual faculty to be able to communicate your thoughts and your ideas effectively. If that does not happen to you, you are greatly disadvantaged, even if you went to school. Because the world thrives on your ability to transfer thoughts. And you must master the art of transferring your thoughts so that your audience receive it as intended. There are many, many people who went to school but did not get educated. The ability to read, the ability to write, the ability to communicate effectively, the ability to think constructively. The essence of secular education is to prime your creativity. When you do your MSc, it's called Masters. When you do PhD, it's supposed to prime your creativity so that intuitively you can be presented with a set of complicated things and there is a thought line. You have trained your mind already to approach life from a certain way. And then the ability to use knowledge as a tool to better solutions. This is what we lack in Africa. We brag a lot about education. But I can tell you, secular education is wonderful. But it, it, systems, we need to review our strategy. You find someone who was educated, respectfully speaking, someone in, somewhere in Africa, and bring other people across the world. Maybe they even study the same course. When they sit down, they will not be able to talk. Because one has not been trained to think effectively, to communicate their ideas, even when they are right, you ask them, okay, so how do we make this work? And they are at a loss. The knowledge of physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, and everything in between does not automatically make you educated. Priming your creativity, your ability to communicate, that intuitiveness, this was the whole idea of being educated. It still remains so. So we must be able to trust God to see the power of education. There are many brilliant people today who are gifted, but they are poor communicators. In the presence of opportunities, they fall like a pack of cards because they do not know how to communicate their thoughts and their ideas. One of the things I've seen with developed nations is that they have mastered a profound ability to sell themselves, to communicate their ideas. They can bring a point that does not make sense, but by the time they are done speaking to you, you will sign without knowing. And that's what has brought Africa to the kind of bondage we're in. So people say a lot of things, they give you statistical presentations, and by the time they are done, they now say sign here. And then we sign. And then at the end of it, we realize what did he even say as the second point while I was signing? That if this does not happen, we remain slaves for 30 years. You signed. There is a spirit in man. 
and the inspiration of the Almighty. Can I tell you this? Don't brag around just moving and saying, I'm a graduate. Go and begin to reinvent yourself to suit to this world. Sit down and learn communication as a planned discipline. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Go and get materials from master communicators. Don't, you are a man of God. You are sent to transfer thoughts to people. I'm speaking right now and there are people connecting from across the globe. From different cultures, different levels or experiences and expertise and all of that. And you are supposed to transfer this idea to them. Let's reject laziness. Don't keep your certificate and saying, I, I studied mathematics, I studied this, there's no job for me. Can I tell you, there are people today who is not what they studied that they are practicing. They went to reinvent themselves. They became communicators. They, they are the think tanks behind many conglomerates. They can earn somebody's one year salary in one week because of the, the health of their minds. Please lay your hands on your head. Say in the name of Jesus, I cause illiteracy. One more time, say in the name of Jesus, I cause illiteracy. There are many people who did not have the opportunity to have secular education as we call it. But these people went to reinvent themselves, to learn how to read, to learn how to write, to learn how to think. In primary school, elementary studies, there's something they taught you called quantitative reasoning. Remember that? And verbal reasoning. The intent was to prime your creativity. Unfortunately, I pray that God will help us. That's why some of you need to build schools. And I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Quality schools, education, education. Is someone getting blessed? Now listen, I wrote something here. In Daniel chapter 1, give us 3 and 4, then we jump to 17. Watch this, watch what the Bible says. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of the eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel. Remember, they were in captivity now. Of the king's seed and of the princes. What kind of men? Verse 4. Children in whom there was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom, cunning in knowledge and understanding science, and such as had an ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Go to verse 17. The king is selecting among the eunuchs people who would serve him, who he would later promote to man the political affairs of the then Babylon. And he said, in selecting these people, do not just choose for want of words, some dummies or some boys, there are standards. Search for them. Find people who have primed their intelligence and their creativity so that we do not waste our investment on these people. Go to verse 17. Daniel 1. And as for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all the visions and dreams. 18. It says, now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in. And the prince of the eunuchs brought them before Nebuchadnezzar. 19. The Bible says, and the king communed with them. That means he was not a dull king. He communed with them, testing their understanding. And among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. When you are praying for favor, God lift me. Take me to Aso Rock. Connect me to United Nations. I want to work with UNICEF. Don't just pray and fast. Realize that the people are not looking for liabilities. It's one thing to be a graduate. It's another thing to be employable. Then it's another thing to be an asset. 20. In all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them 10 times better than all the magicians. Can you imagine? Astrologers that were in all his realm. As a result, 21. The Bible says Daniel continued even to the first year of King Cyrus. Do you know what that meant? That even when Nebuchadnezzar had died, they could not replace Daniel. May you be so irreplaceable in the name of Jesus Christ. 
that the church the company would look at you and say in all fairness do you know in the presence of competence certain prejudices like tribe gender become of non effect when you see people saying are you Igbo or Yoruba I tell you in most instances is because your competence has not bailed you out there is a level of competence you get to people will excuse any other limitation I have prayed for people who work in corporations today and they work among people who are very very they may have certain mentality that is not good and yet they have we have people today africans nigerians heading um political spheres even in the united states i've had the privilege of meeting some of them they are not dummies education the ability to write the ability to read the ability to communicate effectively i'm giving you this assignment under god if you have a problem with communication go and labor in the spirit there are online courses instead of gossiping online use the same time get a course and sit down learn from master communicators the world that is evolving now will have no place for people who do not know how to articulate their ideas intelligently you will thank me for what you are learning Nigeria let's learn how to communicate our ideas we travel to go and attract investments and we return empty-handed you know why because we are not lying but we we, we are still at, at the level of infancy as far as communicating our ideas are concerned I met a gentleman one time who had some program he's currently doing some program with the United Arab Emirates and they gave this gentleman I think I hope I'm right it's not less than 50 million dollars and I asked him what did you tell them because these guys are not stupid people they've been business veterans for a long time what kind of idea did you propose that as a young boy as you are in your early 20s that these people did not have the fear to trust you with that kind of money it's true that ideas rule the world even in communicating your Christian faith it's important Listen, when you want to become a good communicator, there are two things you need. One is utterance, the other is oratory. Utterance is a spiritual quality. It comes from God. The ability to speak so that anybody, regardless their level of intellectual um, level, they can understand you. That is utterance. But you need oratory. The ability to use words as a tool to transfer thoughts. It's a learnable skill. Learn it. People families nations become great on the strength of their ability to think intuitively and to communicate effectively many men of god cannot be called to non-church board meetings to have the opportunity to speak i had the honor to speak a few months ago in the world conference of the full gospel businessmen fellowship this this is these are the the the, the a, a beehive of some of the business authorities around the world from across the globe now you don't come in the midst of this kind of people and speak a lot of confusion and waste your time you're speaking to people who own conglomerates these are intelligent people now you want to transfer thoughts that become some of those guys have business schools they train executives they train nations now they come to submit to you in the name of a preacher i made up my mind in the name of jesus that i will continue to improve myself building capacity that my bankruptcy of knowledge will never bring shame to the name of jesus nor the people who i stand to represent and this has been my commitment and it remains so education a nation that does not train their people to think a nation that does not train their people to communicate effectively a nation that does not help people to see knowledge as a tool knowledge is not an investment until it can be used as a tool to provide solution you go to our schools today and the average person just wants to finish he does not care whether he's understanding or not just write exams make sure you pass if you are lucky and the questions you studied came then you pass and move ask an average graduate to write you an employment letter and you almost want to cry he will write the letter as if he's sending a text to his friend you as you i as i no comma no full stop no presentation then we return back to church and say the devil is fighting me i pray for people but i'm showing you that any nation that does not educate its people 
it will take more than the secular mainstream institutions to educate people you must be determined to educate yourself take responsibility give yourself a target that as a ceo i will stop bragging and saying i'm a ceo i'm a man of god why are people not inviting me even though i am anointed it's because they discern that you have the anointing but the truth is that the kind of demography they want you to speak to you do not have that you have not primed your understanding to communicate effectively there are preachers who cannot go beyond the shores of Nigeria. They cannot communicate thoughts to be able to meet a people of different cultures. I told you it is a learned ability. One more time, please gently lay your hands on your head and say, I rebuke illiteracy. Give yourself an assignment. Wake up in the morning. Go online by the grace of God. This is, we, we are proposing a new Nigeria, a new family, a new you. It will happen when you make up your mind to be educated. Number four.